Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today's episode of Curl Talk, I have a special guest. Hi, I'm <laughs> Rochelle, also known as Disco Curls. I have a YouTube channel that caters to fine curly hair, low density curls. So I'm so happy to be here today with Bianca. Glad to have you and today's Curl Talk is a little bit different because we're going to go into the mommy conversations about hair loss and postpartum. Now, before you get excited, no, I'm not pregnant. No, I'm not even trying. <laughs> don't let the rumors start. But I thought, you know what, don't be selfish. Just because you're not pregnant doesn't mean other people in the world aren't. So we're gonna talk about it today. Yes. Because you are a new mommy, right? Yes, my son will be a year in about a week, so. When's his birthday? His birthday is the same as yours. Oh birthday. my God. <laughs> <laughs> he must be perfect. <laughs> well, yeah, I know there's a lot of things that happen to your hair when you're pregnant, after you're pregnant, and right. I kind of wanted you just to explain that so someone else that's maybe going through it or might be about to knows what to expect. Right. So let's start from the beginning. Before you got pregnant, was your hair a certain way versus how it was while you were pregnant? Yeah, as far as my texture goes, um, it was a lot tighter prior to being pregnant. Maybe halfway through my pregnancy is when I started no noticing all the changes. My roots started getting really wavy, and then the ends of my hair were still tight and curly, and then some areas that were loose before were curlier. So wow. there were a lot of different changes happening. After the pregnancy, after I gave birth, mm -hmm. um, my hair was still looking full, and it was great, and then about three months, I guess three months in is when I started noticing the major shedding happening, oh. yeah. So I do take prenatal vitamins. I was taking that for a couple years prior to even getting pregnant because oh, I needed. Years. Oh yeah, because we were planning a child earlier, so um, we just kept trying, and mm -hmm. part of the process is just taking the vitamins, yeah. right? <laughs> um, also, something I found out from my doctor before I got pregnant was that I had a vitamin D deficiency. So that had a lot to do with why sometimes I look a little bit more scalpy than others. Like. Um, I found out anytime I had a deficiency, my edges were a lot thinner, my hair just felt thinner in general, and when I have the vitamins in my system, it looks fuller, my edges are back, I was like, all right. <laughs> so, yes, vitamins help, supplements help, if you need them. After your bundle of joy arrived, then three months went by, you realized that you were starting to lose a lot of hair. What did you do to get your hair back? Well, I do quite a few things, and part of it is because of what I've already been through with the traction alopecia, from wearing a partial weave and a full weave and, gosh, hair extensions in general. One of my most favorite things to do is uh, like do a scalp massage at night. Mm -hmm. So I will include some of my favorite essential oils along with a nice carrier oil, a lightweight one for me. Um, I have brought some. This is rosemary and tea tree. Um, really good for the scalp and I like to get like an empty dropper bottle add a few drops of the essential oils with the carrier oil and then you can just kind of drop it in your scalp and give yourself a five minute scalp massage at night and I really like to focus it right along the edges the edges definitely took a turn for the worse as well but luckily I know how to bring them back because that's one of my specialties on my channel is talking about bringing your edges back from the dead. Oh, nice. <laughs> so if you watch a Beyonce concert and your edges get snatched, she can that's help right. you post Beyonce back. concert. I got your back. <laughs> so the other thing I've been using is a derma roller. Girl, the yeah. derma roller. When I saw amazing. her little technique, this, I was like, <laughs> what do you mean? I thought that was for yes. your face. So yeah, explain what this derma roller is. Right, so derma roller is like a tiny, let me bring it out here. It's like a tiny handheld, rolling pin and it's got tiny surgical needles on it okay so they have different sizes of these and I know it's like super scary when you think <laughs> a about roller needles. Of needles yeah <laughs> this is ideally made for the skin um, for like people use it all the time for acne scarring for you know producing collagen in the skin for increasing the absorption of skincare products so on the scalp it kind of does the same thing it helps reduce all that all over again Ooh. so i started with the 0.25 size but the 0.25 size um used on your scalp can really help increase the absorption of like the essential oils so it'll really Ooh. penetrate deep in there and help so it's kind of like making like little tiny, tiny little my 
Yeah, like micro punctures in there. Yeah, holes. You <laughs> shouldn't see any bleeding. You can see these videos on my channel of how to use a derma roller. Um, and I have lots of before and after pictures. The um, progress is incredible. She saw it. I, <laughs> yeah. I was like so blown away by this that I'm like all about the derma roller now. I would say a full 90 days, you will see incredible results. You'll start seeing results after 30 days. Now, am I consistent? No, not really, <laughs> because I have a baby and this is just how life is for me now. So. Yeah. Well, your edges look beautiful. Something they're actually, right. they're back from the dead. <laughs> they're not as bad as they were, but they were doing better when I was consistent. <laughs> and are you also deep conditioning as well? I am deep conditioning. I am doing the scalp massages. I am not using or doing high tension hairstyles, like pulling my hair, mm -hmm. slicking it back, that's because cool. that's really just pulling on the hairline there and not helping the situation. Well, I think we learned a lot about <laughs> postpartum hair losses or anything else that you want to advise girls that are pregnant or maybe just had a baby that might be freaking out. Like, what would you want to say to them? I would just say, just don't worry about it. It's part of the process. You're going to experience these things. At the end, you're gonna have a bundle of joy that you don't even care. <laughs> you don't even care, I promise. Yes, it's stressful. Yes, it's part of your look, but Baby, got yeah. a baby. Yeah. Front of that's a pretty good, you know, <laughs> consolation prize. Yeah, for edges, absolutely. Right? <laughs> so it's not a big deal. Your edges will come back. Your hair, your hair loss will improve. So don't worry about it. When I'm ready, mm -hmm. I will be uh, prepared now. <laughs> I don't have to worry about my hair loss. Well, this was a very informative episode of Curl Talk. Thank you for coming on my channel. Thank you for having me. And for all of you guys that learned a thing or two, please leave a comment down below. And most importantly, if you have ever been through postpartum hair loss or have your own tips and tricks, please comment below so you can help out a fellow mommy-to-be. I think it's so important for us to share our own tips. Absolutely. And, you know, help each other out. And now that we've gotten all this serious talk out the way, we're gonna have a little bit of fun on Rochelle's channel. That's right, we are going to do a wash and go race. Oh, let's see who can wash That's their right. hair the fastest. We're That's gonna show right. you all of our favorite products. And we're actually gonna be washing our hair in bowls. This is yeah. just not right, you're not good. <laughs> so if you guys wanna see our <laughs> curly hair wash and go race, make sure you check out her video right after this one. I'll put the link below in the description box. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And make sure that you follow us curl friends on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'm at Ms. Bianca Renee and... I am at Disco Curls on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And then on YouTube, I am Disco Curls TV. Well, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee today.